Hey, what's up you guys? It's Courtney Fierce here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing the Monster High Skull Actor series, The Shining Twins unboxing. So if you guys wanna see me unbox The Shining Twins, then keep on watching. But first, before we get into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to join the Fierce family. I make new videos every single Fierce Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, and also turn on the post notifications so that you're notified every single time when this Fierce Lady uploads. Let's get right into the Shining Twins. So here is what the box looks like. So we have the twins, and on the front it does say, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. On the side of the box, we just have the Shining. We have the Monster High Skull Lector. It does say from the makers of Monster High Skull Lector, so it's not technically a Monster High doll, but it is still a part of the series, you know what I mean? It's like not really a monster child, I guess it's just like monster dolls with the Monster High body. Does that make sense? Then we have the gorgeous twins on the side, looking stunning. And then for the back, we have their yellow ball, and it does say Grady Twins Dolls. Come play with us, ghoul. Hello there, we see you playing all alone. We of all ghouls understand just how lonely this hotel can be, especially when it's monstrously snowy outside. Why don't you come play with us? We have been haunting these halls forever and ever and ever, lurking for a guest like you to be our new beast friend. Somebody who can appreciate how scary cute we are. Mirror images, holding hands in our matching dresses. Oh, please don't ride your tricycle away. Maybe we can use this key to play a fantastic game of hide and shriek in room 237. We only hope that you have a freaky fab time during your stay here at the Overlook Hotel. Now, when you pull open the doors, this is the first thing that you see. So you have the two twins and it does show the hallway from the movie. I love the inside of the box. So if you want to actually have the box on a shelf, you just put something to keep these little sides open or else it will close back up. Just keep that open and then you'll be able to display them. Obviously my ring light is creating tremendous flashback on it, but there are the twins. So let me get them out of the now, box. Here is what the back of their box does look like that they were attached to. As you guys can see from my Pennywise video yesterday, I feel like Pennywise was such good quality and her box art, everything was just 10 out of 10. And I hope that today's goes like that. If you guys didn't see the Pennywise video, I will link that down below as well in case you do wanna watch it. Win number one, and this is Miss Angry Face Twin. There is what her face mold looks like. Her face mold definitely is 100% Twyla, for sure. I hope they did talk about this on Instagram, but it, I think that they have glow in the dark eyes. So I hope that tonight when I shut off my light, she looks creepy. Well, they both look creepy. So the little ax in their hair actually is a hair clip and their hair, does feel a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it does feel like maybe either they, obviously they put product in it to get this hairstyle, but it feels a bit greasy almost. It's not quite like, if you know what the Rainbow High Doll hairs feel like, with how much gel they put in it, this one doesn't feel like that. Like it feels a little bit more slick rather than crunchy. That's why I would explain it as greasy. I have no idea what product it is. I'm sure like Claudina 9 could probably tell you, but I really like her skin tone too. I really like the little Axe hair clip. I think that is a cute idea. This dress, however, is like, meh, it's all right. The little ruffles are cute. This like little bow is cute, but like, honestly, this bottom kind of feels like, if you know what Venus McFly Traps dress does feel like from the Gloom and Bloom collection, it feels like that. Like, it's kind of like, I don't know, kind of a cheap material, or at least it feels cheap. It's very like scratchy and not very cute. Same as the bottom is very scratchy. Now they do come with knee high socks and these adorable shoes. Does have the llamas or alpacas. I've never seen the movie, but it does have the maze on the front as well, a maze pattern. So obviously that has something to do with the Ooh. movie. Again, these dolls are super articulated. They have articulation at the elbows, at the wrists. The hands obviously pop off. Their knees obviously bend. They can fully sit and pose. Here's what doll number two's face looks like. She's a little bit like friendlier looking, I would say. Same outfit, same socks, same shoes. The only thing that I would really critique this doll on is the way that the hair feels honestly is a little bit weird and even the hairline is a bit weird. The axes like feel decent quality, but the dress just, uh, I don't know. 
it's hard to like do a really good quality doll for like how much money they put into it type of deal and also for them to make a profit off the doll but i feel like for the price it was a hundred dollars canadian for both these it was 99.99 the dress is a little bit like mm, for me and the hair feels a little bit like eh, as well on these twins the Pennywise one though felt really good quality. They actually do come with a little key accessory. It does say room 237 on it. They come with their little yellow tennis ball. And the last item that they do come with is a page and it says, all work and no play makes Jack a doll boy. Both dolls as well do come with a stand. So My one. rating for the Grady twins based on their accessories and how they are if their eyes do glow in the dark, that's definitely going to make them a little bit better, but I definitely would say like an eight. There was a couple little stainings on mine. So this one actually over here, I think this one looks fine. Yeah, this one's fine. This girl, she's got a little like black stain on her forehead and then she has a stain on her socks down here. Based on what the clothes feel like, I'm going to give them an eight. I feel like that's cute. I felt like it was cute as well. They were holding hands in their box. There's different hand molds on them. Like, Would I recommend you to get the Grady Twins? If you are a Monster High collector, absolutely get them. I mean, it's good to support it. But do I think that they are worth the money? No. I think that the quality is about compared to the Venus doll that I have up here. She is like a $20 to $30 doll. I feel like that is the quality of them. I feel like you're not really getting the quality and the dolls for your money. You know what I mean? You could, both these dolls probably together were like $40 quality. And that's just my honest opinion. I feel like this one and the Pennywise one were in the same thing. So personally for me, I would just get yourself a Rainbow High doll. I like that I have them. They're going to be cute to look at. They're not really fun to like, Feel. So uh, let me know what you think about the Grady Twins down below. Did you get them? Did you get Pennywise? What do you think about both doll unboxings? Make sure to give this video a big huge thumbs up if you liked it. If you want more Monster High doll content, let me know in the comments down below as well as I will leave the Pennywise video down below if you haven't seen it already. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching this Monster High Grady Twins doll unboxing and I will see you guys all next time. Bye you guys and remember to always stay fierce.